My name is Daniel Sussman. I'm training out of Kriyanj BJJ. I'm a purple belt. I've been training a long time, 10, 12 years, uh, lots of long layoffs in between. Um, and the last couple of years really got back into it. So um, I started MMA probably in about 2011, 2012. Uh, Jim Ford Godfather MMA and uh, Brad Ruff and Josh Munner at the time. Um, and back in those days, if you just kind of knew a little bit of jiu-jitsu, you could get away, get your way around in the MMA scene. You know, it was generally kickboxers versus grapplers, jits guys. So that school, that was what we did. You know, there was one rule: don't get guillotined by a kickboxer. Um, and that's how we, you know, the game plan was get in there, get the guy down, really control arm bar. Um, so that's where my jits game started. That's the first, uh, you know, I started playing jits. It was very simple back then: arm bar, kimura, guillotine, no inversions, no leg locks. A very simple, basic uh, style of jit, very MMA focused. Sure. Um, yes, yeah, so I think I always came back to it just because it is just a raw form of competition, um, and I think I seek that out. And uh, it's just, you know, in a team sport, if you win, it's everyone else's uh, congratulations, and if you lose, no one, no one takes the blame. And in a sport like jit, so in MMA, it's a, it's a one on one sport, and it, you know, you've got your team, but uh, it all comes down to you and there's, there's no excuses, there's no way to hide. I think I appreciated that about the sport. It's a very, it's a very honest way uh, of, uh, of seeking out competition. Yeah, I think uh, for me, Jits is just uh, you know, one place in life that you can always strive to get better. And uh, I think I appreciate it because you, you've got these markers of, of success and of improvement. Uh, so it's, it's, it's got within it validation, it's got within it growth. Um, and there's always more to learn. You can never learn enough. You can never conquer the sport or you know, know everything. And I think that's what keeps me coming back is you know, just when you think you've, you've conquered one hill, you look up and there's a whole other mountain left to climb. Yeah, I think uh, competition is important to me. Um, you know, everyone wants to be the best and everyone wants to measure themselves <laughs> against the best. I think this is why this, this particular eight man is so cool is that you know, I know that I'm coming in last minute step up underdog and against some of the best guys in the country, guys I've watched for a long time, guys I really respect. Um, and so it's awesome that I get to you know, showcase my skills and show what I can do on this platform. Um, and I think it's, you know, that's, what's, uh, that's what's driving me at the moment and that's what's motivating me is just to not make a fool of myself and, and hopefully show people some cool jets.
Yeah, I think oddly enough, uh, I, I do feel very little pressure in the best way. You know, I think, um, as you said, I'm, I'm, I'm late in, I'm an underdog. I feel like, you know, I've really got nothing to lose and everything to gain. I think that makes me quite dangerous um, in that I think there's a, a lot of guys been preparing a long time for this, this competition. There's a lot of pressure on them. Um, and for me, you know, like if I, if I go in and I compete and I, I, I you know, I do my best, I'll, I'll be proud of myself, I'll be happy with myself. So that's what I'm aiming to do. Um, and I, I think that uh, that means I can catch guys off guard. You know, guys are stressed, guys are nervous, and I'm hoping that I can just, you know, play it cool. And, and hopefully that's something that will work in my favor. Um, yeah, I don't know too much about Jelson. I know he's training out of PFA. I know it's a good gym. I spent a couple of weeks there, one year or another. Uh, I know it's a solid setup, and I have a lot of respect for the coaches there. Um, so, you know, he's a, he's a jiu-jitsu black belt. I know he's going to have a well-rounded game. He's got an MMA background. I'm expecting, you know, some wrestling in there. Um, yeah, and uh, I'm very respectful of his jiu-jitsu game. I think it's going to be a very cool fight. I think it's going to be a, a high-paced fight. Uh, hopefully some bodies will get thrown around. I think uh, for the spectators will be a cool fight. Um, hopefully, uh, I, you know, I can manage to, to grind out a win there, you know, catch something. Um, and then, yeah, in terms of the general bracket, I guess, uh, my, my main hope was just that I didn't draw Chris in the first round. Uh, Chris is a good friend. He's also one of my main training partners and one of my, my coaches. Uh, so if we were on the opposite ends of the bracket, that's awesome. And aside from that, you know, I was happy for anyone um, and hopefully I'll get to see Chris in the final, that's the plan. Um, sure, I think I've got a, a high-paced game, a lot of pressure. Um, I obviously try to use my strength, I try to use my power, I use a lot of athleticism. Um, so I think uh, my opponents can expect to get, uh, you, you know, sort of a, a high-paced round. Um, I'm looking to push the pace in, the, in these rounds. Um, and then, you know, since especially over the last year uh, since I've been training with Dill and Chris and Johan and them I've, I've really uh, you know made my game more well-rounded and so I think you know I, I, I bring a little bit of everything so from from the wrestling to stuff I never thought I would be doing like leg locks and inversions and you know everything so I think um, uh, maybe a year or two ago I'd, I'd be one quite a one-trick pony but I, I think I can you know adapt to any style and, and play what's ever in front of me. I think, uh, you know, it's a young gym and it's a gym that wants to make its footprint as a, a competition gym. You know, it's, uh, we want to go out of comps, we want to have a good presence, we want to do well in comps. Um, but I think the, the energy from the gym is just to, to go out and showcase our skills, do our best, don't quit. Uh, you know, like, um, and if we do that, then we make the gym proud and we, we, we fly the gym flag. But obviously, to get the win is awesome and it's the first prize. Um, but I think that, you know, we, we just want to show that the level of jits that we've got going on here. Um, there's a lot of, you know, high level competition guys, guys like Chris and Dill and Johan, um, who are, you know, at the forefront of competition in SA. And we want to show that this is what we're fostering here from, from the top to the bottom. You know, this is the style of jits that we're after.